back, Dukes and Duke Gets This Man Eddie at TV. Listen, we got the first city F. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. It's from one of our one of our fellow actors. Okay, let's hop straight into it. Eddie at TV. City in the Bible was built by Cain, as in Cain and Abel. Uh, this is Adam and Eve's son. This is the same Cain that shed his brother's blood, killed Abel uh, when he was hot with anger that God looked favorably upon Abel's offering and not his own, he felt. Uh, he felt like he'd gotten gypped, like he had laid it all on the line and didn't get what he deserved. And so he killed Abel, and God came looking for him and had a conversation very similar to the conversation he had with Cain's parents, Adam and Eve, where he said, where is your brother? And he said that God, God tells Cain that his, his brother's blood is crying out to him that Cain had become a decreative uh, de force where God has, had, had formed man out of the earth and created him uh, to have lifeblood, built for him a helper in Eve, um, that Cain uh, put Abel's blood back in the earth, a decreative force. And so he was sent off, but Cain was worried that somebody would kill him too. You know, I guess we sort of project that kind of thing onto people too. When we're, if we're wicked, we sort of assume that everybody's wicked. You know, uh, he was afraid that somebody was going to kill him if he was discovered uh, in the wilderness. And so God sent him with a sign that he would take care of him and that he would avenge anybody who would kill Cain. Um, so there was some level of provision there. Um, but so, so Cain leaves and he finds himself a wife, has a kid, and he builds. Cain got married, guys. Cain got married, man. You know, the Cain and Abel story is very interesting. Um y'all should uh take a look into it it's in genesis if you guys don't know where it says in genesis i forgot what chapter maybe like four five five or six, six around there it's the, it's it's the early uh side of genesis but yeah man interesting story a lot to uh break down there but let's continue watching for himself a city a city then would be a walled uh community that was was intended to keep out you know uh, the violence uh, the people who would pillage kill uh take what uh, what belongs inside the walls of the city. It was, it, the heavy inference here is that Cain was doing for himself what God wanted to do for Cain, where God wanted to be the provider, the protector, uh, the one that would uh, uh, care for, uh, build um, build the thing to, to protect uh, Cain. Cain did it for himself. He built the city for himself. We see in our own lives the results of the things that we, the cities that we build, you know, the things that we want to protect, that we put our safety and security in. As you can see, I'm in a log cabin right now. Um, and that log cabin, by the way, it looked pretty clean. Like, I'm I'm saying the walls, it looked really well designed and made. Like, the quality of wood, it looks pristine. I'm not going to lie, it looks so smooth. And I know it's expensive, probably. It, it, yeah, it had to cost a pretty penny. Uh, it's this is my this is my my little hobbit hole. I love my quaint little hobbit hole. <laughs> and uh, you know when I bought this place, it was during COVID, and my wife and I had been Airbnb in places like out in the middle of the woods, very like like you know very rural. <laughs> Probably a lot of bodies were buried on the properties that we were Airbnb. Hey, um, Yosi. But we we really fell in love with the the life. Um, and, and side note, this is this had nothing to do with the video, but Airbnb in rural areas, heck no, I'm not going. I don't want to go. Heck no. Like, no. Rural areas is too many horror stories out on the internet for people going to, you know, isolated places like that, man. And then the movies, too. The movies, come on. We've we seen the log, the log cabin in the woods. Come on. We've seen the movies. There, People are out there like that. They waiting for people to mess up and go to the woods. Come on now. What do I look like going there for? I'm not going to visit nobody over there. Uh, up in this neck of the woods and uh, the Appalachians. And um, and so anyway, we, we ended up with this place. But at the time, it was like, oh, it's a rustic log cabin. There's nothing. I've, you know, I've owned homes before where I put some cameras everywhere. I hadn't really thought of this place as that. Like, what, it's a little cabin. What would people want with this? You know, um, what is there to protect? There's, I have hardly anything here. Um, well, you know, if I want anything done in my life the way I travel, I, you know, I've got to hire people and trust that things are going to get done the way that, that they said they, that they should get done, you know. So I've had contractors over here. And um, when I came back this time, um, after being away for a while, I realized just about everything that I had had been stolen. <laughs> so, wow. Thousands of dollars in tools, 
I had a woodworking shop. I had all this stuff, stuff, all this stuff um, uh, for the life here, you know, and uh, it was almost all of it was gone. In fact, I was, I had, uh, we built a, a, a gym in the basement um, and uh, got a ballet bar for my wife. She wanted to have a ballet bar there to stretch. She used to be ballerina. They stole the bar? The ballet bar That's there, crazy. Placed, um, below the spot where it was supposed to be mounted. That was stolen. I don't know what these guys want with a ballet bar, but it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so I go to measure the space again to see how, how long that bar should be. And my tape measure's gone. So then I'm like fuming. I'm like, you know, I, tape? I can't even measure the spot. It took every day, Dougie. You know, it, like, I was like, so the furious. And, um, you know, I think one of the things I was telling Kat was I, I said, I'm, I'm almost more mad that I have nobody to, uh, to be mad at. Like, I, I have this rage for these people stealing all my stuff. And I, it doesn't even matter because they're, they don't know or care. They, like, they've gotten away with it. You know, I have nowhere to direct that to. But, the point is, there was violence in me. There was vi I wanted to fight somebody. There's violence in me because my tape measure, my saws, and my tools, everything's gone. Everything gone. Ballet bar. And that is the story of cities. That is the story of cities. God, while good can come out of those places, and that's that's what scripture says too. Good, good can be sandwiched right in there between the bad. What we get in cities is scales of violence or scales of blessing, institutional or corporate size blessings or institutional corporate size acts of violence, which is what we see happening around the world right now. So the question I have is, where are the cities in your life? This is as I build my cybersecurity walls now to <laughs> start to protect this place. There's a direct correlation between the the, the, the feeling and sense of, of protecting my walled in city and protecting my walled in heart. But scripture mm. calls us to be broken hearted, to, to be literally shattered for God and for others. And I, I can't do that if everything that I'm doing in my life is building walls because I'm inevitably mirroring that in my inner life. It's very difficult not to, which is why I think you know, Jesus says it's like easier for a camel to get through the eye of a needle than a rich man to get into heaven. How many walls do rich men have? How many walls inside do rich men have? I'm talking to myself this week when I say, I want to think about where the walled in cities are, where I'm seeking to protect or provide or, or create a, a sense of safety and security for myself instead of allowing God to be the provider of those things. That is the role God wants to have in your life, a relationship with us where he's the sole provider, sole protector. Oh, that's a... Uh, the one who cares for the provisions. That's a good the reminder. Needs, uh, the, the securities, uh, uh, even the salve for the wounds and the failures that we have. God wants to redeem every inch of our lives. It is hard for him to get through the walls that we build. Um, so I'm going to be working on, uh, while ring cameras go up... <laughs> The alarm bells in my heart go down. Get them rain cameras. And I'm working to remain open to people, open to community, open to sharing, open to opening my doors um, <laughs> uh, to those who might want to steal a ballet bar and a tape measure. Amen. Amen. All right. Hey, listen, man, that's a good word from uh, the actor that played in Reacher. I have a guy in his name. I don't remember his name, but I'll probably put some uh, green screen action in the back of me. You probably see it. Um, but yeah, man, uh, that's a good word. But speaking of Airbnbs, man, it's just a lot of craziness in in rural areas that I definitely don't want any parts of. But yeah, man, what's what are those walls, man? What are those walls in y'all's in, in y'all's lives that are you know causing you to you know stay like that? You know what what is it that is keeping you uh just kind of like new yorkers how they just walk around just like looking mad ag aggressive and and everybody's mean mugging everybody like like of course they have walls to protect themselves because i heard from a co old co-worker he was like yeah people walk like that because they are scared of <laughs> they're scared that other people are gonna try to mug them or or other people are gonna try to do something because there's some crazy people over there and whatnot and you know you never know if you might get smacked by somebody <laughs> that 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 there's a reason there's a reason why the walls are there but um the thing is you know it's very hard in that situation to uh not be that way i know if I were to go to New York, I'm I'm happy day. I'm like, oh, this is this is nice. Big buildings, tall skyscrapers, <laughs> skyscrapers. You know, like I'm 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 having a jolly old time because 
I'm not from there and I'm enjoying the scenery. But if somebody that's from there knows what happens over there, they're not smiling like me. They they keep in straight face looking tough because it, that's that's the way they do it over there. So that's the walls that they build even just walking outside. So what are the walls that you could come down but it's hard to come down that you guys have on inside your life or inside your uh, hearts, right? Drop it down in the comments, man. Let's have a little conversation in the comment section. It's Eddie Ed TV. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.